Hello riders, as you know, to ride a motorcycle could be a dangerous hobby. Nothing is more important than our lives. To ride your bike without a proper gear is like a, to play a gamble with your own luck. Soon or later you realize that you're just a human and you need protection. In this video I'm going to talk about the most popular safety gear and I will try to point you the pros and cons of each one of the models. Stay with me. I'm just guessing that each one of you, once in a life, was reckless and rode the bike without any safety gear. I was exactly the same, riding in the city with 200 km per hour without any gear, even without helmet. Friend of mine said that I am a donor of organs. Anyway, those days are gone, I was lucky to survive and I will never do it again. The question now is how to choose the proper gear. There are so many brands and models on the market. How to pick up the right for us? As usual guys, I will tell you that it depends from the type of the motorcycle you have and from your riding style. For example, to go on the motocross track with a full leather suit, it's not going to be so comfortable. On the other hand, to go and ride on the high speed with the, this plastic chest protector is not good either. I'm not going to talk about helmets because we all know how important they are. To find out what exactly we need and what exactly is suitable for us, we have to see first what we have on the market today. Let's start with the simple chest protector. Usually it is used from motocross and dual sport riders. The main reason to choose this type of protection instead of a full body armor is to prevent serious body injuries in the case you hit the handlebar, another part of the bike or stones flying direct to your body. Because they are made from hard material, plastic or something similar, they protect upper part of your body, your chest and your shoulders from a direct impact. The second reason is that they are very well ventilated, which is very important when you compete or when you race, for example. The biggest con of that gear is that, uh, as I said, they protect the upper part of the body, your chest and partly your shoulders and a spine, of course, but not on the way you expect because it is uh, mounted with uh, uh, flexible straps like this. Uh, when you hit the ground, it's actually moving. It is mostly for or uh, to protect your body from the direct impact in the handlebar, as I said earlier, or uh, from the stones flying from the motorcycle in front of you. Not really to protect the whole part of your body. Also, you will need additional gear to protect your elbows. The second big minus of that chest protector is the size. It is too big and too bulky. Actually, you look like a rugby player, which is fine, maybe you like it, but it is very difficult to wear your jacket on. Especially if you have uh, elbow protectors, it's impossible to wear it, it's just too tight. When you ride around the city in the hot days or when you go to the motocross track, it's fine, you can have just a jersey on the top, but when you travel with your motorcycle, you'll need jacket. Also, when you have it for a couple of hours, it's fine, but uh, when you have it for a longer period, this plastic material starts to push you here or everywhere around your body and it became really uncomfortable. You have to just take it off. As I said, they are very good for a motocross track, but they cannot really provide the safety we need on the street and definitely are not good for long motorcycle trips. The second type is full body armor. This gear provides maybe the best protection for the upper part of the body. As you can learn from the name, full body armor, it provides very good protection on the spine and elbows as well. It has also chest protection and white kidneys belt and when you tighten the gear properly, these protectors are not moving and always stay on the places you expect them to be. This gear sounds like a great option, but of course like anything else it has some cons. The first and the very important is that they are too tight and too hot for a summer ride, for example. Even if they are made from mesh, like mine, they are just too hot in the summer. And exactly for that reason, I removed the sleeves, but even that cannot help, they are just too hot. The second reason is the size, they are too big and too bulky, you cannot really wear your jacket. Even when I removed the, the sleeves, it was still difficult to have my jacket on. And let me show you something probably you never thought before. So when you have your motorcycle pants, they are coming up to here. So this protection needs to go over the pants or in the pants. You cannot really put it in the pants because you cannot close your pants. If you put it on the top of your pants, then your jacket needs to go on the top. But as you know, the jackets and the pants, they have a zip line here so you can zip it together. So when you use this protection, you cannot really zip it because of that. This might sound like a something very stupid and not so important, but believe me it is and you will find out the first time when the weather became cold and when the wind coming under your jacket. 
So far, so good. We saw some options to protect our bodies. Let's see what we can do to protect our knees. The first option are these very simple knee protectors. Usually you can get it from Amazon or eBay for $20, $30. They are nothing special, made from plastic. And inside they have these uh, cushions or these uh, soft paddings to make it a little bit more comfortable to wear it. Uh, you attach it to your leg actually with these uh, flexible straps and they uh, hold it on, on the place. Uh, the idea behind is that because they are made from plastic, this hard material, they will protect your knee from a direct impact. Something like that. If you want to have a higher level of protection, you have to use it with combination with a motorcycle boots. Which is mean you actually put it inside of the boots exactly like this and then strap it around your leg. So it became like an extension of the boot. You see this plastic part of the boot and then it's the, the protection here and then it's your knee. And all of this became like a real, real powerful protection. But uh, keep in mind uh, that when you use this uh, protection without a proper motorcycle boots, it is equal to almost nothing. So guys, as you already saw, they provide a, a really great protection from a direct impact, but they cannot protect your knee from twisting or to bend that way. They are made from plastic with a simple pins here and bolts to, to hold everything together. But if you twist your um, knee, it will probably break. It is the same if you go that way. And when you break the, these protectors, of course, you will break your leg. The second con is that they are too big, too bulky, and you cannot really wear your pants on the top. You have to keep it on the top of the pants or you have to use a special motocross pants. There is another one option, knee brace. They are very similar, but made much better, not so bulky and provide excellent protection. The knee cannot be twisted or bended. The problem is that they are not cheap. The prices start from $400. The third option is the one you already know and maybe used to ride your motorcycle. It's a motorcycle gear with uh, integrated protectors, which is mean that these protectors are already in the jacket. Here on the shoulders, on the elbows and big protector on on the spine it is the same with your pants actually you have protectors like this positioned on your knees this is maybe the most convenient option because the protectors are already in you don't need to worry about additional gear to carry on they are already in the jacket they're always with you i already tried all of these options but finally i stuck with this because on the long trips as i said many times any additional gear became a problem in some stage a good example is when you stop in the city and you want to walk around to see the local attractions, where are you gonna leave all of that stuff? Can you imagine to have this big uh, full body armor, to have a knee protectors or neck brace or all of that stuff, where are you gonna leave it? Even if you have a big hard cases, you cannot put everything in. And one very important thing to keep in mind, regarding to the last safety requirements, all of these protectors have a different numbers, one, two, three, five, or whatever number they have. Each one of them provide the necessary protection, which is mean that if you hit the ground like that, it will protect your elbow. That's correct, but what about if your jacket is a bit bigger size and uh, this protector moves from left to right like that? And when you hit the ground, instead of protecting with this part, you hit the ground exactly with your elbow. Just keep that in mind. These protectors are good and the integrated uh, protectors in the jackets are a perfect option because, uh, as I said, you don't need to worry about them, but they cannot provide the same level of protection which the full body armor provides. Just keep that in mind. And the last option I want to point you is the airbag system. I tested last week in Zurich on the motorcycle exhibition and I truly believe that at the moment this is the best option from the safety point of view. Let's see the video. Go! Harder, harder, harder. Good. It's super. Super, huh? Yeah, good. It's super. Kein Schmerz. So we're gonna make one test again. And. Okay. All good. Very tough, yeah? Yeah. Breathe, breathe. Hey, it is hard. Very safe. Very safe. It's very good, but they also have 
have the same system integrated in the jacket. So maybe this is this is the best solution because you don't need to carry a, an extra vest. So you can have only the jacket and all of this system is already integrated. So here is, here is the, the trigger. So maybe this is the, the perfect and, and safe system you can order now at the moment. Look at this. It looks good. Just like a normal size jacket. So guys, as we saw in the video, they have two different options. The first one is airbag vest and the second is the airbag integrated in the motorcycle jacket. I really believe that this is the best option because you don't need to worry about all of this additional stuff and gadgets. The problem is only the price. It starts from 750 euros, which is far too much for many of you guys, include me, to afford to pay for motorcycle jacket. Just to summarize everything, we have four different options. We have a chest protector, plastic chest protector, which is the cheaper option. Then uh, we have a little bit expensive, which is full body armor, protect very well, but a little tight and hot. And the third option was integrated protectors in the jacket, the one probably you already have at home. And the fourth option, which is the best, I believe, is the airbag system. Which one you're gonna take on your trips, it's exactly your decision. I will link all of these items in the description link below, in the case you want to buy something. But remember, the best protection you can have on any accident is hidden deep inside of your brain. You're the person who twists the throttle, you're the person who pressed the brakes. I hope this information was useful for you. If so, please like, share and subscribe for a new video every week. If you want to learn more about long motorcycle trips, check the rest of the videos in the channel or buy my new book, How to Become a Long Distance Motorcycle Rider. Link in the description. Thank you very much for watching and always ride safe. Ciao.